Let's paint a boho wicker sofa for the patio. Today I'm going to be doing something kind of fun. So this is a vintage couch and it's been in our family forever. It needs some repair work, but it's one of those things that's not really worth repairing. Super comfy, it's been worn in, you know, perfectly. But we're gonna go ahead and paint it and we're gonna seal it and I'm gonna show you how to do that and we're gonna give her some new life. She's gonna look super cute and boho. It's been painted a couple of times. So we're gonna be painting in the Dixie Belle chalk mineral line with Flamingo. You see that? It's really pretty. It's one of my favorite colors in the entire line. Outdoor furniture is a fun way to entertain color because it's totally acceptable to have bright furniture outside. And I'm gonna be using Best Stain Brush by Dixie Belle, see? I posted the recipe in there of the colors I'm using and the products so that you'll know. I'm also gonna use the, the little La Petite and I might use the French tip. And I'm using natural bristles because it's wicker. It just seems right. I've painted all of our old patio furniture now, metal, wood, wicker, with Dixie Bell paint and sealed with hemp oil. And they are all hold it up, held up just fine. Yeah, find these at like estate sales and garage sales. You can oftentimes find old wicker pieces an old patio furniture that's chippy and lost its luster and people just toss it out because they don't know what to do with it. And you can grab these little pieces and they're gonna make such cute little pieces for outside. I first took a, not a wire brush, cause that'll ruin your wicker, but a very stiff um, brush, like a garage brush, and rubbed all the excess little things off, okay? Then I cleaned it with white lightning very well, saturated it, wiped it back, rinsed it off, let it dry, and that's how we got to here. And then now I'm putting on the paint. I'm gonna use some of this vinegar water just to spritz it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna get it to seep into these little crevices a little bit better. And I'll still do more coats, but this is gonna get it started going into all the nooks and crannies. This is some dry, most of the time wicker that's old like this is super dry and porous. It's just gonna soak it right up. So. You, the vinegar water is gonna get it some movability. It's gonna let you spread, let it drip and soak into the little holes and creeks and crevices so that it gets all paint in there. You guys love this color as much as I do. It's kind of a pinkier coral. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe. Water and everywhere. I'm gonna have flamingo hair when I'm done. Little pieces of wicker come off. Just, just don't mind that. Just keep going. Just keep going. Why not?
you're gonna think it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. These are usually one day projects and super rewarding. Having a beautiful outdoor space can change everything. And the Monster Bestain brush covering a lot of real estate quickly. A little bit of vinegar and water to get it kind of sunken in. It's going to help it kind of seep into all the cracks and nooks and crannies because it is so dry and thirsty. It's just going to like, it's just soaking up that paint. This will help it disperse appropriately. <laughs> and it smells like pickles in here now because it's all vinegary. Ha, ha, ha. Run the brush back over it. If you don't run the brush back over it, you'll have little spots. Cause that's what vinegar does. It gives you like that separation of paint. Coverage. It's already looking so much prettier, right? It's pretty. It's pretty. Gator Hide is a good um, water resistant finish for outside, but um, I save that for things that aren't porous. If it's a porous surface, like a natural wood that's open or wicker, that's when I use the hemp oil. See, it's, it's starting to get darker actually because it's absorbing because it's really dry. So I'm gonna have to make another layer of paint so I can make it nice and bright like I want. All right guys, hopefully um, this was interesting to you all and it'll inspire you to paint some great pieces you can find for super cheap at garage sales this summer and flip them in your booth or put them in your backyard and have a nice pretty colorful space. Um, just message me if you have any questions. There's a little link right there that um, you can find a local retailer or you can shop right there and have it shipped to your door. Go to my page, Mustard Tree Market, to see the finished product in the end. Thanks guys, bye.